I didn't have a, a pedigree of being a former player. I didn't have a pedigree of having a you know, family member who was in the NBA. Like I was removed from the NBA. I was not part of the NBA family or NBA fraternity. And I think for me, um, I kept working, I kept persevering, I kept doing all the little things as much as I possibly could. And so for me, that was this incredible um, realization that even though I didn't come from NBA roots, that if you did the work and if you persevered and if you fought through um, the, the challenges that it does take to get there, that you can get there. I grew up in Swaziland, which is a tiny, tiny country in Southern Africa. I was there till I was five years old, so I don't, you know, super remember my earliest years, but I traveled a lot in Southern Africa. I spent some time in, in Swaziland and then, and then some time in Mozambique as well. And both of those countries were obviously very different from the rest of my upbringing, which was in Toronto. And I think it gave me a great perspective on sort of understanding the diversity of the world and, and realizing that, like, things are more the same than they're different. And I do think that the sense of my early experience, and I've always felt like I've had the benefit of both worlds. My upbringing of having a white mother and a black father and then living in two different places that are distinctly different from each other was hard. And when you're in Swaziland, are you more Canadian and white than when you're in you know, Toronto and are you more black and African and, and how do those interplay? Three drills left, almost there. Good work, good work, good work, good work, good work. Coming to an organization like this, which is so high level and, and has such great history um, and has such tradition, um, you come in with sort of like, do I just sort of try and be what they want me to be and, and, and just try and fit in? Or do you bring your experiences and you bring the things that you know and that you love and you're passionate about? And so I think just making a choice to be me um, and come here and try and smile as much as I can and, and encourage people as much as I can and make every day a sunny day as possible. And I think that being a coach now for me is this really great time that I get to spend with players and spend with people and put them in the best situation to improve. Growing up and going through high school, I trained to be a teacher. I did it in university. I did a, you know, an education degree and I was going to be a history teacher and a phys ed teacher. And I think as I finished my university playing career, this connection in the sense of, well, I love coaching and I love teaching and maybe my career might not be on the teaching pathway, but more of the coaching pathway. I was hired and I had this choice to be an educator or to go into basketball and I made the choice to go into basketball and it was literally to enter the Toronto Raptors community level and so that beginning position moved slowly from year to year into more positions of more leadership, more full-time roles. Hey, good job! Blue team! Blue team down there! Blue team down there! And there's been times in my career uh, along this pathway where you sort of think about is this worth it or not? Is the fight of, of figuring out schedules and who's going to go where and who's going to do what, is it, is it worth it? And I'm very lucky to be in a super supportive situation with my family and two wonderful young kids um, and they make it all worthwhile, but it's the time that I spend at home that matters more to me than, than, than what I do on the court, to be honest. The hardest part of, of this type of career is definitely the, the family and the sacrifices. You know, I think that oftentimes you look at things that you miss, right, from birthdays or, or special events, and that's hard. Like, you know, and especially with the background that I have, like, like, I want to be the best father I can. That really matters to me. It's really important. And when you can't do that because you're at work, it, it's a challenge. And I think too many times we, we, as adults, don't realize that just being present with our children is what really matters. Um, and spending time engaged in what they want to do and what they want to think about and not spending time on our phones and not spending time worrying about what you have to do or you know what, what kind of work obligations you have. There's time for that. You have to make time for that. Um, but you have to make time for your family too. I pinch myself all the time um, for where I've been able to get to, but it, it's, it's not the position. Like I'm an MBA assistant coach, which is wonderful and it's incredible, but it's the people and the experiences that I've, had, that I've been able to have in my life and share with the people that I love the most too. From traveling to different places all around the world, obviously, to just enjoying what it is to be part of a team. And, and I think if you're on a community team or if you're on a professional team, like something special about that collective will to sort of work together. And so I'm so thankful. And, and I think that if I look back in my, my history and I look back in where I came from, um, you know, I never thought a kid from, from Swaziland with a Canadian mom and a, and a Swazi dad would ever have been at the position that I'm at. But, you persevere through life, you work through each moment, each as it comes to you, you do it with a positive approach, and I've been really thankful for where I am now.